All right, good blessed afternoon. No, it's still, it's still morning. Good blessed morning. Good blessed afternoon to some of you guys. I want to come on here really quickly to uh, to share a dream I had last night. Um, and it is about spiritual warfare. Now, I have been studying that same playlist I created about spiritual warfare for the past two weeks. And when I tell you, you mix that with fasting, you're going to shake some demons loose. You are going to take them off. Why? Because they're so used to having a hold on you, having a hold on your family. They're not used to getting their butts kicked out by you and God. I'm sorry, by God, then you. Because God give us authority. He gives us the power. You mix that with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and then you get in line with them. They ain't got nowhere to go. So, this dream I had last night, and I want to put it out here because I want people to understand just how real spiritual warfare is. There was this uh, this witch in the dream. She was uh, she was sitting beside me, combine. Now normally they would come disguised as um, you know, they, they would normally come disguised as a prodigal or somebody that I've seen. Um, in this case, she they, they didn't do that because every time they come like that. I start pulling on their faces spiritually and I start ripping the disguise off of them. So <laughs> she starts flipping through this book where she's showing me pictures of me, uh, my wife, and my children. And she's showing me pictures of things that these spirits have been trying to do. And then she shows a picture and then she goes to the book of relatives that have died of, on my side and on my wife's side. You know, as she's showing these things, mind you, she has no face because they know better at this point. So, as she's going through this picture book, I'm looking at it horrified. And I'm like, wow, this is what you guys started to do. So, in the, in the dream of the spirit world, she starts laughing and then I start laughing and then I even wake up laughing because I wake up in prayer I wake up praying to coming against these things because I know what it is it was uh, it's, um, witchcraft and the spirit of death that was trying to come into my life spirit of poverty so I got up and I was rebuking everything you can think of man every single thing and that's how I know I am ticking these spirits off. They don't want me to fast. They don't want me to pray. That's what I'm like, guys, in my last video, I mentioned about spiritual warfare. Now, I had that dream. I had a few other dreams um, this week. What these spirits are trying to do, they're trying to come in covenant with you because they need your permission. If you're the praying spouse for your product, if you're, if you're the... If you're the um, the, uh, the prayer war for your family, women or men, they have to come to you for permission. They have to. They have to come to you and get permission. And what I and what I woke up understanding, I was like, no, you can't have my family. No, you can't have my wife. No, you can't have my children. Why? Because I do not give you permission. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit of lust, envy, jealousy, confusion, poverty, death, witchcraft. You know, I rebuke that spirit of offense. They tried all types of different ways to come to come into my family. I'm telling you, they tried all different type of ways to come into my family. And they can't get in because I cover my family with the blood of Jesus every day. Yeah, I stop. Most of the times I stay up to midnight. Why? So I can start war. So I can start praying. So I can start kicking some behind. But for these demons to approach me, they didn't even try to hide themselves. They just approached me normally and tried to get me to come in the covenant by using fear, by using threats. And then what was weird was today, um, I got an email that said uh, threatening letter, but it was nothing. These devils, these demons, these spirits, these um, entities, they cannot do a thing 
once you're on the right side of God, when you're following in his will, once you understand what his will is and, and his laws, they cannot hurt you. They need permission for everything because you have the power in Christ Jesus. I had to go and look up yesterday, 1 Corinthians 6, 18. Flee from sexual immorality. Because in a study that I was um, studying the other day, it was about masturbation. How masturbation is, it's a double sin. It's a sin against you and it's a sin against God. Sexual, because you sin against your body, which is the temple to God, and then you sin spiritually because you're creating the covenants. But I am telling you guys, that is my testimony, man. The I am taking these spirits off through fasting and prayer. Now I'm getting in the fight. I'm not sitting back and saying, well, hey, well, hey, I, I got people fighting for me. Yes. But what are you doing to, to come to combat these covenants with these people? What are you doing to come back with some of these covenants that you already made in your sleep that you're unaware of? They get mad when I wake up. And I say, Father God, any covenants that I have, that I, that I have made in my sleep unbeknownst to me, I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. And I cover not only myself with the blood of Jesus, I cover my wife Elaine, my children, Kevin, Aaliyah, and Michael with the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against them shall prosper because I am always here to fight for these guys. I will always be around to plead the blood of Jesus. I will always be around whether I'm in the physical or in the spiritual. Standing up for these guys. Because my children are saved in the name of Jesus. My wife is redeemed in the name of Jesus. She is kept by Jesus as well as my children. But I wanted to give you guys that quick testimony about the dream I had. When you start seeing some, some weird funky stuff in your dream, I'm going to tell you, you never touch nothing in your dream. Don't eat nothing. Don't have sex with nobody. Don't kiss nobody. Don't say yes in your dream. Don't give nothing permission in your dream. Because this is how these spirits get covenants. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I also rebuke the spirit of procrastination, the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. But this is how these spirits get, get, uh, get um, leeway in our lives. This is, how, this is how you end up homeless because you made a covenant in your dream. This is how you lose your house. This is how you lose your car. This is how your marriage go under because you made a covenant in your dream with a doggone demon or entity or devil however you want to pronounce it it ain't of God <laughs> so beware of how your dreams go if you're dreaming about people that ain't even in your life anymore these spirits are using these spirits are using images to try to get you in a covenant images that you would trust that you normally would trust I know they tried it with me. They... Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously taking somebody off with this video. <laughs> but they tried it with me and it didn't work. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know. I pray the blood of Jesus over you guys. I hope your day is fruitful and, and, and may God continue to multiply your blessings out here. If you woke up today, your blessing has been multiplied. I'm telling you. Why? Because God gave God woke you up. One, God gave you a chance to repent from your sins. Two, God gave you a, uh, an opportunity to bless somebody else. Three, so your blessing has already been multiplied. But I will catch you guys on the next one here. I wanted to get that word out there, man. It's, it's my testimony. That prayer and fasting works. Get in that spiritual warfare playlist and get the knowledge on how to start fighting.
when you start fighting, when you start standing up, when you start taking charge, these demons can't do nothing about it but get out the way. I'm telling you. You guys stay blessed. I'll catch you on the next one.